This place is gorgeous, don't you think? I hope it translates to film pretty well. Actually, you guys are probably going to see it this big. So, anyway, thank you for logging into SoulFoodsNutrition.com. I'm Kareen Horner, Certified Clinical Whole Foods Nutritionist. And I'm here to discuss with you today synthetic vitamins and why I hate them. Okay. So I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet because what usually happens is I get going on a roll and I yap, 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 and the video is like six minutes long and everyone's yawning at the end and logging off and going somewhere else. So I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. When you go into the store, even when you go into Whole Foods, even when you go into Trader Joe's and, and health food stores all around the country, most of the time the vitamins that they carry on the shelf are going to be either synthetic or fractionated. Synthetic means that they kind of like cook them up in the lab, okay, and, and fractionated means that they may be natural as they occurred in nature. They may have, it definitely may have a natural source, but it has been separated from its cofactors that normally occur in nature. Now, the synthetic where it's cooked up in the lab lots of times is, uh, it has the components of what the vitamin actually contains, but it doesn't have the molecular structure. There's something different about the functional architecture of the synthetic vitamins as compared to the natural vitamins. Now I say natural kind of loosely, because in packaging laws you can say natural and it isn't really natural. What I mean by natural is how it occurs in nature, in the concert, in the symphony of all the different cofactors. Now back to the subject, because I want to keep this moving without getting onto a tangent. Those synthetic vitamins, those fractionated vitamins, create deficiencies in your body when you take them because they need cofactors to be able to be utilized in your body. So they rob from the other stores in your body to create the molecule to make it available to your uh, physiology. And anything that's not used is flushed out. And you'll know this because I'm sure you've had bright yellow pee after you've taken some of your vitamins. Okay? So we know that you're going to create deficiency in your body by taking these kind of vitamins because you need to rob Peter to pay Paul. Okay, so the end is worse than the beginning, essentially. Now, the other thing that's really kind of disconcerting is the source of some of these synthetic vitamins. I'm going to try to talk fast again. Vitamin B, most of the time, most of the brands that you get off your average store shelf are synthesized from coal tar. If you don't believe me, email or call the manufacturer. They can pretty much verify this. And that's also another reason why you, you take these vitamins on an empty stomach and they make you feel sick to your stomach and then you have this bright yellow pee. It's not meant to be in your body. I don't know anywhere in history where we were all running around, you know, cavemen eating coal tar. It just, you know, it's not a food, okay? The other thing is vitamin E. The largest supplier of vitamin E, you know, to be encapsulated and packaged and people put on their own personal labels, but the largest supplier of vitamin E in America is Eastman, as in Eastman Kodak. It's actually synthesized from the waste of the film processing. That's how they make their vitamin E, which don't even get me onto their vitamin E because they'll call, you know, D alpha tocopherol or mixed tocopherols, they'll call that vitamin E. Whereas vitamin E in nature has a whole wide host of cofactors and synergistic factors in, in concert with it to make it the best ever. Okay. Anyway. So that's the, that's the whole thing about like synthetics and fractionated that I hate. So this is what I recommend, okay? I recommend you toss them all. They're actually being flushed down the toilet anyway whenever you go to the bathroom. The high doses are an insult to your body. Your body is doing its best to get rid of them, okay? And you don't feel good when you take them anyway, and that should be a sign. And if you do feel more energetic, that is probably an adrenal reaction to the toxin that you're taking into your body, okay? So, even though, yeah, the, the deficiencies they create are, are much worse than the original reason why you're taking them in the first place. What I would do is call me, 
can get a phone consultation or an in-person consultation. We can we can get a protocol of you, uh, for you, especially for you, on whole food concentrate vitamins. Now those are Garden of Life, um, Standard Process, and I believe New Chapter Organics. But in, in Soul Foods, I only carry Standard Process and Garden of Life at this time. Those are the only two brands that I really trust implicitly. And they're excellent, and uh, especially Standard Process is very cost-effective, very, very bioavailable. So um, anyway, I would do that. If you, if you can't call me, if for whatever reason you don't want to do that, go ahead and uh, email me or download our symptom survey online. Fill it out, fax it to me, and that's a, a low-cost um, kind of automatic type assessment of your health, and you get kind of a computerized uh, recommendation as far as the vitamin supplements you would need. But I, I, th that's around the same cost as if you were to call me for a 20-minute phone consultation. So either way, I would start with that. If you absolutely just want to buy something today online that's going to help you out, I would go with Garden of Life because that's pretty easy for you to figure out what to take. The, the other ones are very specialized and they, they take a little bit more tweaking to, to know what your body would do best with. But anyway, that's the skinny on synthetic and fractionated vitamins and why I hate them and why you should toss them. Thank you for logging in today to Soul Foods Nutrition and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.